Hello, everybody. Rob Chastner here. And uh, uh, this brief video is on uh, one specific verse in the New Testament in the Gospel of John, chapter 20. And I'm going to discuss the significance of chapter 20, verse 7. And um, um, you can open up your Bibles at your uh, convenience. I'll put that verse and the surrounding verses in the information below this video. But essentially what it says is that when um, some of the disciples went into the limestone tomb where Jesus' body was put after the, the uh, crucifixion, um, they found the uh, essentially the grave clothes. Um, in Jewish tradition, um, there is um, a group of, of uh, anonymous people who are called the, uh, the Hevra Kadisha, the Burial Society. And these are uh, men uh, who, who um, uh, take care of someone who has died, a man who has died, and they dress the body in a white shroud and uh, do a ceremonial cleansing, a bath, and, and put the body in a box. And then uh, they're the last ones to see the body. And, of course, a group of women do for women. Uh, to maintain uh, dignity and vanity and so forth. So <clears throat> in any event, uh, traditionally in a burial, a Jewish burial, the, the body is dressed, bathed, and then dressed in a white shroud. And so they had, uh, for Jesus, they had uh, linen, white linen, uh, uh, grave clothes is, I think, how they, how they describe it. And then there was white linen, um, uh, a, sp a specific piece of white linen that was put over his face and head. And when the disciples went in after they found the tomb opened, um, the verse talks about finding the grave clothes and the white linen over his face and head was was folded as if it hadn't been used, but it was folded and, and, and left there in place. And so the question then becomes, why was that linen folded? And so uh, in order to uh, understand that, you have to know the tradition and uh, throughout the Jewish history. And the bottom line on this would be that uh, when uh, someone was, let's just say, at a dinner table, and let's say they had to get up from the dinner table and leave for uh, a short period of time. Um, um, they would fold their napkin, their linen napkin, to let the other guests know that they would be returning. And uh, of course, we know in modern times, if you go into a fine restaurant, they've taken this Jewish tradition and used it in fine fine dining where they serve with linen. And you'll notice that uh, in good restaurants, when a person gets up, let's say, to use the restroom and there's still food left on the plate um, or it's in between courses, that the waiter will come over and fold the napkin. They'll refold the napkin and place it back on the table because they know that that party is coming back to the table. And so the whole purpose of this message is to understand why was that linen covering his face and head when he was not there? Why was it there left behind and folded? And the answer is now very clear um, that Yeshua, Jesus, the Messiah, who resurrected on that day, is in fact returning. You can count on it. All of Scripture uh, points to his return for uh, tribulation and for his second coming to collect his his grouping of people called the Bride of Christ or the Bride of the Messiah uh, for eternal fellowship uh, in the in the kingdom of heaven on earth 
So uh, uh, you can count on the fact that he is returning because in Jewish tradition, he left that napkin, that piece of linen behind, and he left it folded to let all of those who understand know that he is returning. Well, hopefully this is helpful. I will put that verse, uh, John 20, verse 7, and the surrounding verses below in the information box. And uh, I find it fascinating that uh, many of the Jewish traditions uh, were, were employed and used uh, by Yeshua, Jesus, the Messiah in the first century to let people, to give them an understanding of who he was. Unfortunately, most people missed it. But if you read and study the Bible, if you read the Old Testament, Isaiah chapter 53, Jeremiah 31, Psalms 2, Psalm 4, Psalm 8, Psalm 22, very explicit uh, prophecy of the Messiah being um, put to death on the cross. Psalm 23, the, the Messiah coming back and taking care of his people. Uh, Psalm 24, uh, the Messiah coming back to caring and caring, uh, coming back for his people, his sheep. And it just goes on and on and on. There's so many verses all through the prophets that point directly to Yeshua, Jesus as the Messiah. He fulfilled. He was the only one who could fulfill. But this, again, is just one little one little gem in the Bible in the New Testament. John chapter 20, verse seven that shows that Jesus used all of these different things that the Jews were could have noticed had they paid attention if they had not been blinded by their own self uh, uh, selfishness selfishness uh, they could have seen all of these signs and wonders that he did and this again is another the the, the linen was folded because that was his message that he is returning. You can count on it. Thank you. Hopefully this was informative. Thank you for viewing.